Yeah. Double AP from Kareem and Jackie Love. You've then got double AD from Kanabi369. It makes itemizing against uh, this top esports roster so difficult. Uh, and as we're moving into this, you know, mid now late game scenario, starting to favor that little bit more. Okay, top esports have stopped that early game harass. They found a fight already. Final gas for Top Esports. Kanavi goes for the combo. It's Top Esports. They are left with nothing in their hat as AL right the ship and right the wrongs of game one. And we got a series on our hands. Hello, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting my study titled Quantifying the Win Rate and Gold Equivalent Value of Atacon in League of Legends Using Causal Machine Learning. League of Legends is a competitive 5v5 multiplayer online battle arena game where teams compete to destroy the enemy's nexus. In addition to champion fights, teams aim to secure map objectives like turrets and epic monsters. One such epic monster, Atacon, Bringer of Ruin, is a newly introduced late game objective. It grants a global buff that strengthens minions and boosts combat stats. While powerful, Atacon appears during windows when other major objectives are absent. So teams often face a decision, contest Atacon or trade it for turret gold. This study asks two key questions. One, does securing Atacon significantly increase win probability? Two, how much is Atacon worth in gold equivalent terms compared to turrets? Previous studies, such as Liu et al. 2020, analyzed objective impacts, like Baron Nashor using logical pattern mining, but did not quantify causal effects or control for confounding factors. Because Atacon is new, no prior research measures its true strategic value. I collected match data from the NA Challenger tier, the top 500 players, using the Riot Games API. The dataset covers patches 15.14 and 1515, includes over 77,000 event-level observations, and contains rich contexts such as gold difference, XP difference, game time, and turret states. Events include Atacon kills and turret destructions. The challenge is that match data is observational, not randomized. Stronger teams are more likely to both take Atacon and win. To address this, I used a causal machine learning framework combining propensity score model, estimates the probability of taking Atacon given the game state. Outcome model, predicts win probability given the same state. These are combined in a doubly robust estimator, ensuring valid results if either model is correct. I also estimated conditional average treatment effects, Kate, to see how impact varies by time. Finally, I converted win rate gains into a gold equivalent value using logistic regression coefficients. Securing Atacon increases win probability by 45.79 percentage points on average after controlling for confounders. The largest marginal gain, 52.24 pp, occurs between 22 to 26 minutes, key mid-late game windows. The gold equivalent value is about 11,701 gold, more than the combined value of multiple major turrets. Decision line analysis shows that in all time segments, the Atacon threshold far exceeds the average advantage from taking two outer turrets or even one inhibitor turret. This means that trading Atacon for turrets is usually a negative expected value move. Teams lose more win probability than they gain from gold. Conclusion and future view. Atacon is a decisive late-game win condition with a measurable impact on victory chances. This study demonstrates how causal inference can be applied to esports analytics, moving beyond simple correlations to quantify true strategic value. In professional play, we expect irrational Atacon trades for turret gold to decline as teams recognize the negative expected value. Thank you.